Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Gagan Singh from Ludhiana. We are playing Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition on my Legion 5 Pro and uh, we have uh, uh, actually recovered the Prothean artifact as it turns out that the artifact was actual Prothean, uh, you know, uh, in stasis, in, in, that, in that stasis spot uh, and uh, for, for, for the last 50,000 years and we learned a little bit about him. Uh, his name is Javik and uh, one of my favorite characters. Um, we have done that and uh, now in this video we will be going back to citadel uh, because you know there are a lot of uh, characters that we have to talk to uh, first of all ashley williams because she mailed us that uh, she has been you know promoted and uh, we may find uh, thane over there uh, one of my favorite characters from mass effect 2 you know uh, we also might find miranda lawson uh, in the citadel because we got the mail so uh, yeah let's just uh, dive into the game and this video in this video we will not do any mission but uh, you know the kind of like uh, uh, side quest or uh, you can say side missions a couple of side, side missions if we, if we have uh, unlocked it uh, and uh, let's just talk with people and uh, in this video you will you will actually know how big this game is and how impressive the, the writers uh, and the producers and the actors have you know uh, done things uh, how deep the conversations go with the different different type of characters and uh, let's just uh, let's just dive into the game guys okay so uh, in this uh, where should we go Mm -hmm. Rescue the students, meet the diplomats, Citadel and the Cerberus lab. Let's just go to Citadel because uh, Yeah Because we have to talk with Ashley and uh, Permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so. I know your stock of modified metadata is low, but. Thane, come on, man. That's our friend Thane over here in this hospital. Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need. No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. <laughs> Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Things are getting tense, you know. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. <laughs> I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel's syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. 
There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. You know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. That's it for now with Thane. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. I would have, you know, uh, been regular touch with Thane through the extranet, but uh, this game uh, is designed. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Was that a glitch? Yeah, Shepard is like, you know, kind of like moonwalked. I'm not doing this. I'm just walking straight and something is happening. Look at that. I'm not giving him any directions. Why? <laughs> Why this particular area, man? Yes, we have to do that to uh, get some academy mission. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all, but I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving the orders, I need to be able to count on you. I think I forgot to buy a book, a collection of books that uh, we can actually, you know, gift her in this scene. But the dialogue will be the same. So, uh, okay. The game continues. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay, get some rest. If you need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I, I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. Ashley was not treated... Uh... Well, you know, right in the in the series. That's my personal opinion. Many people don't like her, because and some of them, uh, some of them are like you know uh, they consider her as a, kind of like a racist. That's kind of stupid because in space there is no place for you know these uh, human-made concepts like a religion, like God, and like racism. You know, uh, because uh, it's space, man. You have to be better. That maybe that is one of the reason in Mass Effect no one is like you know fat or obese or you know there are no uh, how can i say that there is no woke culture in in space because uh, there are different type of species they have their own understandings their own religions their own gods so they won't care actually and uh, if no one will care for you or or your thoughts you become stronger and you have to do the best just my personal opinion i am not here to offend anyone but uh, okay let's talk with ashley because uh, 
I think she had a she had a rough uh, you know kind of like her family background actually had a rough history uh, mostly because of you know what uh, Ashley's uh, father did father did or grandfather did when when they first fought with Turians and uh, humans were humans have to you know surrender so let's just be her friend I've got time to talk So, what's all this lieutenant commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too, until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's it's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, Elsie. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. Who's back on Earth? The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead? I lost hope, I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. You see, she's a nice person and... Uh... Ashley has always been, you know, a very serious uh, kind of like uh, loyal to Alliance and, you know, following the command. But now you can see she is getting mature. There's a nice character arc to her. I don't know why people, you know, don't don't like her. It's completely tasteless to call this place Fuerta Memorial. President Fuerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get behind him. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Damn, man. Tane is still sitting over there. Okay. Okay. Let's just you know explore a couple of areas uh, in the, the in the Citadel and uh, okay. Here we will find uh, Arya Tilok. So you know people are scared and uh, they just want to have a little fun time. Kind of like you know, we'll talk with Arya later. Let's just uh, 
have a little chat with James Vega. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What'd you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I don't know why this option is in the Renegade. Uh, you know, uh, you can you can become you know like uh, lenient with your crew and and the people who actually look up to you. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna buy them a round of drinks. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey, the commander would like you to have a drink on him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Let them have a little fun because probably they are all gonna kind of like die, you know. Okay, let's just quickly talk with Arya also and uh, then we'll go to save the students on Grissom Academy. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. This DLC was also like, you know, kind of like uh, <clears throat> interesting because Arya is so powerful, but uh, uh, Cerberus took control of Omega and uh, they just threw her out uh, of, you know, her own uh, kind of like kingdom. So Shepard is probably the only one who has actually screwed uh, Cerberus. Uh, rest of them, you you can just imagine why the galaxy is so you know afraid and cautious when there is uh, any situation in any situation where Cerberus is involved. So even Arya Tilo cannot face Cerberus, you know. And in this uh, mission, this is not a loyalty mission, but you know uh, we can we can find uh, find a little help in the end. Uh, some of the troops that are able to send in the end and our score will go high so but but in that mission we will find we will actually see a female Turian for the first time in Mass Effect so 
It's one of the better storylines. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shep. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. You know, she seems a little uh, egoistic, but uh, she runs the most, uh, what can I say, uh, dirty place filled with comebacks and uh, she's a leader, she, she's a natural leader and uh, I think second most good looking Asari, uh, you know, after Liara Tisoni. So, yeah, it's a, it's a strong character, man. I really liked uh, One moment, uh, the mission that we will be playing in a couple of videos. Okay, let's just see what can we do. Should we talk with Bailey and uh, I don't think it will make, make much difference but uh, let's just do it anyway. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked the shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll... Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Cool. Let's just... Okay. Is an interesting uh, side mission over here. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recos. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power <coughs> to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. 
I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Little cameo of Kasumi here. So, remember when you helped me get Eiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on the Batarian Research Lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Spectre Terminal. Hanar Embassy. Embassy tracking. Yes, I'm gonna enable it. Thank you. Korean Fleet Intel. Nomadi Engineers. Okay, this is Angel, Gabby, and Ken Donnelly. You know, they want to come to the Normandy. We are gonna authorize that because they were good. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On Bow's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bow? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I have some positive. Mm -hmm. A leaf just fell. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. I'll Wait. check Haloon's personal records and pull his reasons. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. So there's a glitch in this game. Uh, some of the leaves are falling from, uh, uh, you know, there is a tree and you can see, but uh, they're falling through this, you know, platform. That's not good. It's okay. Let's go. Second terminal over here. Wow. Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. All comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. About money. KG wouldn't you sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find him somewhere. So my family can die. Commander Shepard, as your family It's good that we have a certain level of influence over everyone. This is the Batarian refuge camp. What is this? Look at who we are, who I actually found. One of my favorite characters. I wish they had, you know, included her in uh, on, on Normandy, you know. Let's just say hi to Kelly. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survive the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it 
Every night, I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey. It's okay. I'm fine. I just... can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. You see, uh, this is the point where you can actually help Kelly. Uh, you can just go with the Paragon option and just let her know that she's go doing good and, and you know, she should just uh, keep up the good work. But later in the game, we will find out that Cerberus actually looked for her and they found her and they killed her. So we have to go with the Renegade option, but this Renegade option actually helps her survive. Uh, she will change her identity, her name, and later when we came, uh, came over here in the game and uh, then we will actually... Uh, here's someone talking like you know they were looking for her and uh, they couldn't find her blah 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 so yeah i'm gonna save kelly chambers uh, right now okay don't take chances with cerberus change your look change your name get new identification that takes time and the people here need my help do it kelly okay i will if you think i should i'm so glad you found me seeing you makes everything right again Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. I always liked Kelly. I, I really, really wish that uh, maybe, you know, we could have, you know, have more, more scenes with her and uh, more conversations with her. But, uh, okay, this is the uh, Wasp uh, Arya told us about. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. Great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my I'm taken care of. Which is? The Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. <laughs> Man. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Arak. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you could get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? <laughs> Damn, man. This is that Turian refugee, you know, camp. And have we heard anything from the hospital? This is Garrus. We're all busy. Keep on, it's so that they don't have much time. <clears throat> Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the council to accept the wounded. 
Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Oh. We'll need to soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, hopeless at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. Few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Okay, let's just uh, find another terminal and... Okay, here it is. I've got a list of... Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. Oh. But you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic. I'm not dead. Bow. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending him to Map Point for his office. I'll meet you there. So you have to go back again, uh, back at uh, the Stadium Commons? I don't know. Let's just explore the area anyway. Hmm. Catch the taxi over there. Hey Cortana, how are you? What happened to you, huh? The writers are not writing good script for you or the production is not taking care of you. It's changing your appearance in every other game, huh? Cortana from Halo 4 is the best Cortana, I think. Uh, the way she looks, the way she talks, the expressions, everything was just perfect. Okay, okay. Can you find some? Oh, we have Joker and Edie over here. So let's just. Uh... Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and oh, yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. <laughs> These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance man. <laughs> Thanks to Brolic syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. He I'm seems happy. Use out of those disability benefits. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. So obviously, uh, Joker have you know, Joker will develop a relationship with Edie. Uh, Okay, let's just talk with her. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? 
they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. <laughs> well, that's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I can inject to simulate the desired emotional state. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. <sighs> Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. Huh. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Okay, where do we have to go? Please select the destination. Embassies, I suppose. Yep. Okay. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. I don't think the Enkindlers are going to be doing anything today. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Dept. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Delay. Help us. I'll handle this. <laughs> Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll... With a few friends. Mm. Nice acting, Shepard. You can come out now. How'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic <laughs> war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. <laughs> it's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Cool. Okay, let's just quickly do a mission. Um, let's just save the students on uh, the academy. 
Crimson Academy. Uh, selected the wrong floor actually. Okay. Okay, this is the right floor. Whoa! Our favorite Miranda Lawson. I loved her, man. She left Cerberus, but she's still wearing that uh, uniform. Uh, okay, let's just see what she has to say. Shepard, it's so good to finally see you. You too, Miranda. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. She's so beautiful, man. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Of course you are, Miranda. I really hope that uh, they will include Miranda Lawson more, uh, bigger, uh, bigger character, you know, uh, like in Mass Effect 2. Or maybe we can uh, we can play with, you know, we, we can choose Miranda Lawson as our main player in Mass Effect 4. I, I really, really hope that they will include Miranda Lawson again. Uh, she was like the best a woman can be in my, my perspective and many others, I suppose. Miranda. Things are never going to be easy for us, but I'll always want you in my life. No second thoughts? This is your chance to back out. No. It was hard to be away from you. Surprised myself how attached I got. I'm not good at attached. Just stay close from now on, all right? I wish I could. I really do. But there's something I need to deal with. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I knew you'd want to help, and I'm grateful. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish. It could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. Did you try to contact me when I was back on Earth? A visit by the former Cerberus second-in-command would have been disastrous. Any kind of secret communication would have looked even worse. I was tempted to break in and see you. That would have been tough to explain. Right. Fun and games till they arrested me or just shot me on sight. I had to play it safe. For both of us. 
I understand. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Wow, it was nice seeing Miranda again. Okay, this video is getting long, so in this video we will not do the mission. Uh, so you can just uh, you know get the idea of how big this game is and how detailed uh, they have put in the you know the work and uh, so in an hour and we just you know kind of like had some conversations with people so i think this is it for this video guys uh, we will go to grissom academy and save the students and we will finally meet an old uh, you know crew member of normandy on uh, on that academy so to be continue bye bye